Hey everyone, I'm Alicia Malone. Welcome to another episode of Fandango Indie Movie Guide, the show where I run you through the little films that you should definitely try to see in theaters. This week, if you loved The Lobster and Dogtooth and you're a little bit of a weirdo like me who loves dark and disturbing films, then you have to check out The Killing of a Sacred Deer. This is the latest film by director Yorgos Lanthimos, who is behind the two films I just mentioned. Colin Farrell stars in this one as a doctor with Nicole Kidman as his wife, Colin Farrell's character strikes up a friendship of sorts with a young boy named Martin, played brilliantly by Barry Keough. I want to say one more thing. I'm really sorry about Bob. It's nothing serious. No, it is. They will all get sick and die. Bob will die. Kim will die. Your wife will die. Understand? No, I don't. This is the kind of film that will get under your skin and you can see it in a very symbolic way or you can just see it as a very terrifying family drama. The cinematography, the production design, the performances and the score which is haunting, it all adds up to a level of terror which is sustained throughout. You will also laugh and that's part of Yorgos' brilliance that he can make you squirm one second and chortle the next. Dad! It's all told with his very deadpan style of dialogue. The Killing of a Sacred Deer is not a film that you'll forget very easily. Try and find it in cinemas this weekend if you want to have an experience. Three films out this weekend that I want to run through very, very quickly. The first in theatres, Wonderstruck, directed by Todd Haynes, who also did Carol. This tells the story of two kids who both struggle with their hearing, one in the 1920s, one in the 1970s. The production design and cinematography are amazing. I particularly love the 1920s portion, which is very much like a silent movie. Wonderstruck stars Julianne Moore, and you can find it in theatres this weekend. This is a story about what makes us different and about having the courage to find the place where we belong. How do you know my name? Also in theaters, maybe a little bit hard to find, but worth seeking out is BPM. This was a favorite from the Cannes Film Festival about a group of AIDS activists, but bigger than just focusing on the disease, it focuses on the very human stories, great characters, and it will suck you in emotionally. Try to find BPM if you can in limited theaters this weekend. Il y a des moments où je m'aperçois à quel point le sida ça a changé ma vie. C'est comme si euh... Je vivais plus intensément les choses, plus de couleurs, plus de bruit, plus de vie. And one for home if you want to stay in and watch Fandango now, then I highly recommend Step. It's a documentary about a group of girls who are involved in a step dance troupe in Baltimore. They each come from tough backgrounds which make them struggle to get through school, but it's an inspirational story and one that we women need right about now. Check out Step, available on Fandango now this weekend. Step taught me if you come together with a group of powerful women, the impact will be immense. Step is life. To give you my picks once again in theaters, check out The Killing of a Sacred Deer, Wonderstruck, or BPM. And at home on Fandango Now, you can see Step, a great documentary. I'm Alicia Malone, and my question of the week for you is Do you like films that make you feel uncomfortable, or are you one to go to the cinema just to have a good time? Let me know in the comments below, or you can tweet me at Alicia Malone, and I'll see you next week. Bye.